Owning and keeping up with the food truck is more expensive than you may think, everybody. But On The Go LA is making it easier for small businesses to get their start. And they're doing it by offering a food truck rental service. Love this. Jada Montemorano joins us now to tell us this great story about this couple that you followed. And it was amazing. What a concept yeah. that they're doing. Love yeah, it. I've never heard of anything like it before. So when I found out about the company, yeah. I knew I needed to do a story on it. So I actually got to go from beginning to end with one business because they can now rent a truck from starting just under $300. They could do it for a day or even do seven to 10 day rentals depending on their needs. And we got an inside look at how it all works with Caribbean Soul Kitchen. Stocking the food truck before a full day of service. Owners of Caribbean Soul Kitchen, Chaton and Roger Squires, love serving their community. We got bitten by the entrepreneur bug and the yeah. catering bug, and he's always been a cook. He's just never cooked to the scale that we are now cooking. But this is actually their first time ever using a food truck. The couple usually pops up with a table and tent, but today I met them when they picked up the truck they rented from On The Go LA. Two locals started this company to help small businesses get their start without having to buy their own. It costs a lot of money to get a food truck, to own a food truck, to get permits. So to have on the go that already takes care of those things, you just have to hop on, pay for it and go, it's an amazing, amazing opportunity. And when I asked what they were nervous about for the day. Uh, LA traffic. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it, just LA traffic. I followed them to their first stop at Lamert Park. This is their usual spot, but today they have access to the bigger flat top to cook their shrimp, which gives them more room for their loaded Caribbean Panamanian nachos. Roger learned how to cook from his grandpa on the Panama Canal. So this truck helps him sell more creative menu options, and he said it's pretty easy to navigate. Someone yeah. walks you through. Uh -huh. You take a look at the whole truck. The setup is, is amazing. It's simple. It's not complicated. Then, seven hours later, at the end of the day, I met them at their second stop at Sarah's Market in East L.A., a place where many pop-ups come to sell their food. As a small business starting out, Chaton says having a truck lets them go to new places and feed new people they couldn't before. On the Go L.A. actually set them up with this location and shared it on their own social media to help promote. It's also allowing us to share what we do to the masses. They said it wasn't really busy, though, but it happens. So everything is just location, location, yeah. location. It may hit, it may not. Yeah. So we'll just take our chances. But overall, you, the uses of the truck and everything, they get a thumbs up on the couple did. Yes. Chaton and Roger said the price of the rental was worth it, and they made enough to offset those costs. They're already planning another day of selling. I think there's the pros and cons. The investment is worth it because we were able to do what we set out to do. It's a test run for us. A test run for food concepts just starting out and wanting to be on the go. And even some better news. Take a look at this. I just heard from Chaton that her and Roger are opening Caribbean Soul Kitchen in their first so brick and mortar location. But we look at how, like, you know, story. access and equity, yeah. how it can change and transform it. Sometimes Seriously. you just need that little push and look what it can clearly mm -hmm. become. Yeah, that so test well run deserved. worked out. Now yeah. they'll be opening hopefully in August in Miracle Mile. I can't wait to get over there and try that food. <laughs> oh, it's good. So good. <laughs> Thank you, Jada.